Hi, Dana. Um, I have your skin analysis here. Um, so just taking a quick look, you know, you say you're feeling like the strongest you've really ever felt and feeling really good. And if you take a look at, you know, your history of scans, you know, your body weight is close to your first ever there back in, um, that wasn't your first ever, but that's, you know, eight scans ago or whatever, but, uh, April 27th. So again, that's not your first ever scan. I could go back further, but anyway, body weight is down and your muscle skeletal muscle mass is highest it's ever been in any of the last eight scans. And your body fat percentage, percent body fat is the lowest it's been in any of your other scans as well, the last eight scans. So that's, you are right, things are going well. So um, just take a quick look. So I. I analyzed your, this scan that we just did on the 11th of November to the scan we did eight weeks ago on September 15th. And then I also compared it to uh, the scan we did four weeks ago. Okay, so there's going to be two comparisons here. All right, so if you just notice in a quick, you see that C there, it's pretty pronounced C. All right, versus this is much, much, much straighter C. So that's just another example of things going in the right direction. All right, so the numbers that are not inside the parentheses are comparison of eight weeks ago, and then the numbers inside the parentheses are comparison of four weeks ago. So I'm gonna go over eight weeks ago first. So um, your uh, so, uh, total body water went up 0.7 pounds. That's insignificant. And then you gained 0.5 pounds of dry lean mass, which is great. And then you lost 5.8 pounds of body fat in the eight weeks, which is great. So lean body mass was up is up 1.1 pounds. And then your total body weight loss in the um, eight weeks is 4.7 pounds. Okay. So all good stuff so if you take a look here body weight went down 4.7 pounds you gained 0.8 pounds of skeletal muscle mass and you lost 5.8 pounds of body fat so gaining muscle and losing this amount of body fat is a testament that your uh, diet your nutrition changes that you made um are correct for you because you're gaining muscle and you're losing body fat at a much faster rate okay so your body fat percentage went down 2.6%. And then if you look at take a look at your muscle gains, um, right arm, you gained 0.18 pounds. Left arm, you lost a little bit, but you did gain ability to support your body weight, 2.1%, because, you know, you lost body weight. And then your right arm, you gained 4.7% ability to support your body weight. Your core, you gained half a pound of muscle, 2.3, you gained 2.3% ability to support your body weight. And then in your right leg, um, you gain 0 0.03 pounds, 0.9% ability to support your body weight, and you gain 0 0.04 um, pounds in your left leg, and you gain 1.4% ability to support your body weight. Your initial scan was recommending 28.2 pounds of weight loss. Um, sorry, not weight loss, fat loss, body fat loss. And this scan is 22 pounds, so it's less 6.2 pounds. All right, so where did the fat come off of? So you lost 0.6 pounds in each arm, so over half a pound in each arm. You lost 2.6 pounds off of your core, which is tremendous. You lost 1.1 pound off of your right leg and 0.9 pounds off of your left leg, so uh, a pound and almost a pound off of each leg. And then your visceral fat levels went down one level from level 12 to level 11, which is great, okay? So those comparisons were to your scan eight weeks ago. And now I'm going to tell you um, your numbers compared to your scan four weeks ago. All right, your second scan of the program here. Okay, so you gained some water uh, between your last scan and here, 1.3 pounds in, of inside the cells and half a pound outside the cells. So your water gain was 1.8 pounds total. 
and then you gained 0.7 pounds of dry lean mass. So you did have, a, your lean body mass went up 2.5 pounds, but most of that is water fluctuation. Okay, and you lost 2.6 pounds of body fat since last scan. Because of this, um, you only lost 0.1 pounds since your last scan, but you know, losing 2.6 pounds in the four weeks of body fat is tremendous, all right? And again, a lot of this weight here is water fluctuation, 1.8 pounds. So I'm um, just taking a quick look here. Body weight's only down 0.1 pounds, um, but your skeletal muscle mass is up 1.8 pounds in the four weeks, which is tremendous. And then your body fat is down 2.6 pounds. So with this muscle gain and this fat loss, again, is really, really good. And you lost 1.6% of your body fat. So if you take a look here, you actually had some pretty... You had some bigger adjustments in the last four weeks to your muscle gain than you had, in, in, you know, from the eight week. I think what had happened, you lost some muscle between week one and week four. Not a lot, but you did lose some muscle. And between week four and now, you put that muscle back on. And you, and you continued to lose, you know, you lost fat as well. You continue to lose fat in these last four weeks so really good last four weeks for you so you put on 0.31 pounds on your right arm and you gain 6.1 percent ability to support your body weight and one you gain 1.15 pounds in your left arm and you gain 3.1 percent ability to support your body weight you gain 1.2 pounds in your core and you gain 2.7 percent ability to support your body weight and then in your right leg, uh, not much there, gain there, but you did gain 0 0.05. You gained 0.4% ability to support your body weight. And then your left leg, you actually lost a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, 0 0.09, and which is nothing. And you lost 0.5% ability to support your body weight, which is insignificant as well. So that last scan four weeks ago was recommending 254 pounds of body fat loss. And this one is 22, so it's less 3.4 pounds. And the fat loss that occurred in these past four weeks, 0.2 pounds off of each arm, 0.9 pounds off your core, and 0.6 pounds off of each leg. Your visceral fat levels did stay the same from that. So um, really good scan, probably one of your best to date. Um, and really some really good changes in the last four weeks as well um, with your numbers. So all good stuff. Good job.